Hello Virgos and welcome to Deku Tarot. I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading for May 27th through June 2nd of 2019. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and it cannot and will not resonate with all of you. If it doesn't, um, don't get upset. It's not for you. So go check out um, a weekly for your other placements. It might resonate with you better as we are not just our sun sign and it's super important to remember that, okay? Um, Alrighty Virgos, thank you guys so much for all of your support. If you haven't, please make sure to share the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out your weeklies and monthlies for your other placements that might have um, messages that resonate better with you or um, things you need to hear for one reason or another, okay? So let's see with the Hermetic Tarot, though, um, your general messages, spiritual messages um, for the week of May 27th through June 2nd of 2019. Might be happening this week, messages from Spirit for the week. Messages from spirit in terms of career and general life for my Virgos. We get Princess of Wands. King of Swords. Wheel of Fortune. All right, let's see. Eight of Cups reversed. Interesting. Okay, so let's get some clarifiers now. Mm -mm. Line these up a little bit better. All right. So let's see. Clarify Princess of Wands, King of Swords. For my Virgos this week. Lovers, grabbed by the King of Swords, Wheel of Pentacles, ooh, the Star, awesome, um, Wheel of Fortune, to the Eight of Cups reversed, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Nine of Cups, wow guys, um, I really do like the Nine of Cups, I'm not sure how I feel about it aspected here, um, so let me see. All right, Princess of Wands and the Lovers here. Princess of the Shining Flame um, and Children of the Voice Divine. Again, this is the Hermetic Tarot. Um, so it's super interesting and intricate, but it's always very sharp. And I feel like you guys are have this energy of just like, tell it like it is. Just tell me the, the truth, whatever it may be. And I love that about Virgos. But um, I feel like that's why I always end up using the Hermetic for you guys. Um, the stars at the center of your reading. The Nine of Cups is over here. The Eight of Cups is reversed right there. And the Wheel of Fortune is upright. There is a change here. There's some ups and downs. And I think a lot of us... There's a lot of dreamy energy here I'm about the past, if I'm being honest. And I'm trying to find a way to... We're having a lot of dreamy energy, dreamy focus on the past. And thinking of it as you know this Nine of Cups situation... Um, with the Eight of Cups reverse, we're wishing we hadn't left a situation. We're wishing we could go back to something that we have left, or that something, you know, if somebody or someone left, somebody or something like left us. Um, we're wondering, you know, can we get back to that? And that's a strange place to be in, especially when you know in this air energy here in Gemini season, in this King of Swords, very much telling it like it is. I see it for the black and white of it. I see, you know, the truth of this and I'm, the emotions, the other material stuff isn't going to get involved. This is just what it is. And you know that. You know a situation, an ending in something in your life here, something has happened where you're now wanting to go back to something from the past. You're thinking of something from the past here. There is a focus on that. And with the Wheel of Fortune, you guys just have to know that there are ups and downs in life. Um, and when we're on the lower points... We might feel, oh, I made the wrong decision here. I'd like to go back to this. You know, I'm feeling love for this thing from the past year. I bet that's what my saving grace is. And we have to be very realistic about that. I will say that. I don't know why I'm getting this for some Virgos out there. So if you guys are getting caught up on a past situation because we're not happy the way things have been happening or some things that have happened now, and we're like, why can't I get back to that? How can I get back to that? That was my dream. Um, there's a need to be a little bit more realistic here. Um, the star also says that, you know, the universe is here and you're at a point of growth here. You're at a point of, you know, some really intense, probably emotional um, and again, spiritual growth, honestly. 
So be honest with yourself, but also be honest about the fact that what you're wanting is probably something you can't go back to and that you can probably have, not probably, definitely have better than what you had in the past. Um, so don't get stuck, you know, when you're in a rut on these things from the past year. We have to keep looking forward. The universe has bigger and better things for us, even if we don't see it right now. Um, interesting. I'm going to get a card of... I'm going to get a card of advice for you. Some of you guys are just having a really wonderful week where, you know, maybe a Gemini or an Aquarius, maybe both of them are opening something up for you right now. You might be having some new opportunities come in. Um, so again, don't get stuck on not wanting to leave what you have or getting stuck on like... Oh, it would be easier to go back to this past thing or this past situation, okay? If you have an opportunity coming in this week, take it. Don't get afraid. Don't get um, stuck in, again, your little rut of, well, this is comfortable. Go for more. It's just a different... I know. But yeah, the hermit. You need to think about this. Maybe spend some time alone. Decide, you know, wiggle your way through these feelings. Wiggle your way through these feelings. Um, feel your way through whatever you need to hear. You need to see something from a different perspective. When the hermit shows up, you know, there's a need to go within to take some time out from the daily rat race to um, take your, you know, just kind of shut off for a little bit. Maybe even meditate, go within. There is a need to explore this from a different angle and from a perspective that's a bit deeper. We need to seek out something that means more to us and the past isn't going to give us that, okay? Um, okay. Interesting, Virgos. So let's check out the Halloween Oracle card for you from Stacey DeMarco here. As advice from your higher selves, advice from the spirit. Let me see. I feel like it's got knocked around here. I had to pause this earlier to fight a fly that was driving me crazy. So <laughs> let's see. Midnight. Yeah, this is perfect for you guys. Again, I feel that we're in a midnight moment here. The most magical hour of all. This is when things change. Even though we might feel we're stuck and things are stagnant and we can't do anything, the universe is changing things for us behind the scenes. We can't see yet what we're about to walk into and there's no need to worry about it. <clears throat> midnight. Allow yourself to relax into the benevolent darkness of midnight. You may feel this is your darkest hour, but know that the light will return again. The dawn always follows the darkest night. Know, too, that it is important to recognize that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light, and this isn't something to hide from. Okay? Whoa! Okay. I literally just, like, flung that card across the room. <laughs> all right. Um, very well, let's move on to love. Let's move on to love here. And what do we want to use for love for you guys? I kind of want to use... I want to use the Hobbit deck for you guys for love. Let's see. So we're going to use the Hobbit deck here, and we're going to see love. And again, I do general love readings. If you think I should do singles and couples for the month, let me know in the comments below. I was thinking about it, but if you guys don't think you need it, then I won't do it. <laughs> okay? Alrighty. So, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for love, love, and romance. Ugh, this one really wanted to come out, so I'll let it come out. <laughs> Page of Swords fought its way out, much like Bilbo is fighting here. <clears throat> So let's see. Can you just show me Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for love for May 27th through June 2nd. Love and Romance. What will be happening? King of Swords. Ooh, judgment Reverse. Interesting. It flung itself out like that. So we'll take it. Ten of Coins. Queen of Cups. Interesting. Some of you guys definitely, I feel like, are have a cancer involved this week or an Aquarius. I don't know, but um, if you don't, that's fine, too. We're going to get to the bottom of this energy here. Sorry. There we go. Page of Swords. Let's clarify the Page of Swords and the King of Swords. Um, hmm. Judgment reverse, we might not want to make some changes that we need to. Queen of Coins. Might. Never see judgment reverse, you know, there's a disillusionment here. There's a need to change because the world is asking us to at this time. There's a need to <laughs> overcome some things here. Ace of Swords. Clarify judgment reversed here. Eight of Swords. Clarify Ten of Coins. Queen of Cups. Justice. 
from Queen of Cups, Devil Reversed. Okay, some of us here. Yeah, we're not much like, I don't know, it's weird. I was drawn to do you after Cancer, and Cancer also had a kind of disillusioned reading in terms of love. In a lot of ways, you are disillusioned, but you can work yourself out of it in a way that I don't think that they can this week. Um, yeah, the Eight of Swords is there, but the Ace of Swords is right next to it, so don't... I feel like a lot of you guys want to come to conclusions that you know are wrong. <laughs> Judgment reverse, like you know that what needs to be let go of isn't what you're letting go of and you're holding on to something that you know is not good for you here. Uh, when I see the Judgment card reverse, you know, there's kind of an obsessive nature about it. Especially with the Eight of Swords, so we're unwilling to see a truth here. Something that we hold, we I feel like we feel really, really comfortable, but it's almost become an obsession to hold on to something that is just not overall working out for us. Um, I think with Page of Swords, King of Swords, <laughs> Queen of Coins over here, might be a Capricorn. I mean, this could also be your energy too, but I'm feeling more like this is a different Earth sign or a different Air sign over here that's trying to communicate something to you when you're reading it the wrong way in a way um so again i just feel like there's a disillusion energy this week and, and an inability to look at something without you know the blinders on without you know uh, it's like you guys would are only willing to see something one way here and you become really really entrenched in it and you have to you have to be honest with yourself and what that is, okay? Because it's become really entrenched. A lot of times I do see the Ten of Coins. That's a very positive card. But it's become almost like what we had in the past. So again, if you guys are thinking about an ex or somebody like that, there is this obsessive tendency here where you've built up a relationship to a point that it is not, it's not real. Um, it's gone by. It's not, you've become really comfortable in this envisionment that maybe this is where you're supposed to be, this is who you're supposed to be with, and that's, an obsessive energy a little bit um and there's an energy that you guys need to kind of let something go here there needs to be you need to see this for what it is whenever i see the eight of swords and it's not reversed i know that we're still entrenched in these beliefs that we we're stuck here and we can only see this one way it's a very entrenched fanatical obsessive energy especially with the judgment card reversed right there and we'd like to believe, we don't, don't believe your own bullshit. Like, you know better, okay? Um, so be honest, be open. Sometimes it's talking to a Libra or somebody that can really take you out of it. I think right now, um, oh, <sighs> uh, what is, because again, that cancer energy this week was just so off kilter. I would say if you are dealing with a cancer, um, maybe wait like a week. They're not in the best. They're also in a very disillusioned state right now and i just feel this week is not the best for that but anyways um the queen of cups with the devil reversed you know we have to love ourselves through this even if it is you know seeing the truth for what it is and wanting to beat ourselves up over it there's a need to just say no it's okay it's i gotta let this go but i need to listen to my own intuition about it i need to listen to my own i'm not so much listen but i need to allow myself to heal from this like healing yourself from your own bad mistakes here um, so again, don't become so entrenched in something that you cannot see the truth of it because with the King of um, Swords and the Justice card, I feel like there's somebody or something that's really trying to like show you the truth this week and you guys just would love to pretend like it's this other story and it's not that, okay? Um, it's time to see the truth for what it is so that we can get ourselves out of this uh, this cycle that just never brings us the joy and happiness that we really want or deserve, okay? Let me get a card of advice for you. the two of coins um yeah this is gonna take a little bit of wiggling a little bit of working yourself through here you see the two of coins i always see it as kind of a juggling type of energy here um and we might be kind of juggling either two people two situations at this time but there is this need to explore more options than what we're holding on to so again like i was saying we're holding on to something that we believe is like the end all be all and there are there are other options there's never just people and the psychic community have these kind of disillusioned beliefs where, you know, it's only, you know, you can only end up with your twin flame or your soulmate. And if not, you know, it's a mess and soulmates are bad and everyone wants, everyone should be with their twin flame. Like, don't, 
get stuck on stuff like that it's releasing beliefs like that and obsessive tendencies to be like well i'm just looking for this you should open your heart to whatever amazing romantic love can come in because it doesn't always have to be you know you don't always want it to be that way i'm, I'm just gonna i'm not gonna get into that whole thing about twin flames and soulmates right now and i'll do that maybe in another video but um there's a need to stop holding on to these entrenched negative belief cycles that were just they're just kind of robbing us of true love honestly and robbing us of our own happiness um we need to understand here and be confident about how change in this situation you know change in terms of how we're viewing love how we're approaching it and how we hold on to certain aspects of relationships and stuff because again you guys are an earth sign you can hold on to things um very tightly and we understand how change can really be met with different events that we don't even know about yet that we have to open ourselves up to that can create the positive outcomes and create the love that we want in life okay so ugh, big messages for you guys this week big messages let's get um a couple of dorian virtue love romance angel oracle cards here virgos for love and romance may 27th through june 2nd stay optimistic about your love life Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Yeah. And like I was saying, you guys, you need to have confidence in yourself. You need to believe in yourself every step of the way. You need to be positive. You need to have faith that, you know, you are loved. You are lovable. And Virgos, I know that you guys have a hard time with this. I have a Virgo moon. I know a lot of Virgos. Like, I, I know that you guys have a hard time continuously. It's really often that Virgos have a hard time with self-love. And, you know, knowing that they are lovable and that they do deserve it. And they work so hard. You guys work so hard. You deserve love. So stop robbing yourself of, you know, bringing that stuff in. Forgiving and learning. Again, forgive yourself. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. You have to release it. You have to release the past. Let it go. Let those ten pentacles go, no matter how long you've been holding on to them. Heal the past. Let it go. And be open for the future here. Positive thinking and faith. Replacing, you know, that guilt, that shame, whatever you're holding on to that, you know, Again, I think it's a lot of self-forgiving, but it also can be forgiving others. You have to let things go. All right, so Virgos, big readings this week. Um, but those are your messages for May 27th through uh, June 2nd. Um, I'm wishing you guys nothing but the best. Please remember to um, like, share, and definitely subscribe to the channel. And keep an eye out for that crystal video I'm putting out this week, um, as well as the June monthlies. Got a lot of stuff coming out this week and um, some merch stuff too. So... Keep an eye out for that stuff. Um, and if you want to book a private reading, all the information is right below. Thank you, guys.